easiest way to move to the United States. Every year, millions of people are drawn to the United States. Above all, U.S. immigrants are driven by the dream of freedom and opportunity. Why do people move to the United States of America? There are many different reasons why someone might want to come to the U.S. People frequently relocate because of a work opportunity, a loved one, or just to pursue their version of the American dream. The United States is an excellent option for people who want to reside outside of their own country because of its long history of accepting people from diverse origins and cultures. In today's video, we will talk about the easiest way to move to the United States. Before we go straight into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more amazing content. Let's get into it. Education. The top universities in the world are located in the US. The standard of schooling is so high in America, you can be sure you or your child will receive a good education and qualifications recognized around the world. According to reputable international rankings, 13 to 15 American schools and universities are listed among the top 20 worldwide. An international student can apply for a student or exchange visitor visa only after being accepted by a school certified in the Student and Exchange Visitor Program SEVP. You will be enrolled in the Student and Exchange Visitor Information System SEVIS, and must pay the SEVIS I-901 fee once the SCVP-approved school confirms your registration. A Form I-20 will be issued by the SCVP-approved school. After receiving the Form I-20 and registering in SEVIS, you may apply for a student FRM, visa at a U.S. embassy or consulate. When you go to your visa interview, you must give Form I-20 to the consular officer. If your spouse and or children intend to live in the United States with you while you study, they must also enroll in SEVIS, get individual Form I-20s from SEVP-approved school, and apply for a visa, but they do not pay the SEVIS fee. The type of student visa you require will depend on your course of study, the institution you intend to attend, or the exchange program you will be participating in. F1 and M1 visas are the most prevalent types of student visas. A full-time overseas student pursuing academic studies falls under the F1 visa classification. A full-time international student pursuing vocational studies falls under the M1 visa classification. The J-1 visa category is also referred to as the Exchange Visitor Program EVP. It is for international participants in exchange programs that are based on employment or academic studies. Visitor scholars, camp counselors, and research assistants are a few examples. Those with talents in science, technology, engineering, or math may be eligible to apply for a STEM EB-1 visa. In January 2022, it was announced that 22 more subjects of the study would be added to the STEM list. If you acquire an education from one of the many institutions in the United States, you can stay for as long as you desire. However, make certain that all necessary paperwork is completed. You will also be able to work for any company you desire and earn more money than if you lived in your home nation. Intra-company transfer work. You may be allowed to come to the United States as a temporary or permanent foreign worker, or a temporary visitor for business, depending on your qualifications, circumstances, and the job that you plan to do. If you are a foreign student or exchange guest, you may be eligible to work in the United States under specific conditions. You will require a visa to work in the United States as a foreign worker. Each visa has its requirements, limitations, and time constraints. This is an intra-company transfer visa. Your employer files a petition to bring you and or other suitable employees to the United States to work and reside. Some firm positions include top executives, management, or specific knowledge that is critical to your company. It is vital to know that your employer does not have to maintain a current open office. You could be hired to assist them in establishing a new office. If they have a physical location for the new office and the new office will support your work within a year, you may still be eligible for an L-1 visa. Qualified employees entering the United States to open a new office will be granted a one-year initial stay. All other qualifying employees will be permitted a three-year first stay. Requests for extension of stay for all L-1A employees may be granted in increments of up to two years until the employee reaches the maximum limit of seven years. The relocating employee may be accompanied or trailed by their spouse and any unmarried children under the age of 21. 
spouses and children may apply for L2 non-immigrant status and, if approved, will be granted the same duration of stay as the employee. To qualify for L1 classification in this category, the employer must have a qualifying relationship with a foreign business, parent company, branch, subsidiary, or affiliate, collectively referred to as qualifying organizations, and the employer must be currently operating as an employer in the United States and at least one other nation, either directly or through a qualifying organization, for the duration of the beneficiary's L1 stay in the country. The company need not be involved in foreign trade, but it must be financially sustainable. Start a business. If you are an entrepreneur with a fantastic concept, the United States is the place to be. There are numerous chances for people who desire to start their own business in the United States. You will have access to resources such as capital, technology, and skill that you may not have had access to back home. The United States also boasts vibrant corporate communities that foster innovation. Another approach to making money is to invest in the U.S. economy. This method entails investing at least $1 million in a new firm that produces at least 10 jobs in the United States. You could potentially buy an existing business in the United States with at least 100 full-time employees. So, there you have it, these are the easiest ways to move to the USA. If you loved this video, please make sure to like and drop a comment to let us know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon.